regular season finale for the Craftsman Truck Series. We were delayed, but now we're green in Richmond. Three wide in Richmond. Maddie D. Part of that. Oh, somebody was in the outside wall. Was that Sanchez? Looked like the, a black truck. I believe it was Sanchez. They got in the wall off for turn two. He doesn't need that. Came in with a 21 point advantage over the cut line. Did the rookie from Miami. Majeski jumps to the point out of that outside lane. How about some more three wide there. There's Stuart Friesen trying to drive underneath the 45 of Lawless Allen. You can see he just really throttled it up in the center of the corner, pushed up, and took that lane away from Allen in the 45. Get it while you can. Aggressive early are the drivers here, and we're just completing three laps. Look at the side of this two truck. You can see the letters are rubbed off, even that right front of the truck. The Goodyear lettering on the tire is gone, so that could mean a toe issue, but good pace right now. He's able to hang right with Matt Mills. About half a second of a lap time off of our leader, Ty Majeski. And Matt's right behind Grant Enfinger, a former winner here. The only former winner in the field. Ooh, trouble for Tanner Gray. Slow on the racetrack. Well, and that slowed Sawalich, and Garcia was able to, to jump by. So a big exchange here. And just like last week at Pocono, problems early uh, for the 15. Going on. I'm shut off. Yeah. Check your switches. Check your kill switch. Ignition. Cyclist. Or electrical issue, because it looks like he's taken back off now. You can see Friesen just up ahead there. Haley's underneath of Friesen in that 13th. And you can see here comes Majeski, and he's going to put Stuart Friesen that lap down. Friesen in desperate need of a caution so he can stay on the lead lap or, or get the free pass now and reset things. So he goes a, a lap down. The problem is that Majeski's going to get by Haley oh, Deegan. Yeah momentarily and that'll take him out of the free pass position for now. It'll well, be an uphill climb all night. Matt DiBenedetto 31 points to the good coming in about to lose eight to Chase Purdy but the 25 again doing exactly what they need to do executing the plan to make it into the playoffs. How good has Ty Majeski been starts on the pole closing in on Tyler Ankrum. Ankrum's going to stay on the lead lap as Majeski takes the green and white checkered flag. Another great job by Majeski. Do you see Carson Hosevar back there? Yeah, jamming it, it in wide. way low. They're three wide. Pouncing off the two of Sanchez, looks like. Hosevar from the rear to start this race, solidly inside the top 15, being scored 11th right now and looking for more side by side, as you said, with Sanchez. Now we got that battle for the free pass. Zane Smith, you saw in the 38, he's currently in that position. Our shop, DanielDine.com, on board from the front bumper. It still works, Adam. Mm, just got word from NASCAR. Restart violation for the four of Chase Purdy. Scored in six right now, but he'll lose all that track position. Tell us what happened, guys. Just going to jump out of line early before you cross the start finish line. You can see. Pretty close call there, but that NASCAR's obviously reviewed the tape for a while and decided that it was necessary to make that call. Let's see what they're saying on the Ford radio. No, you can just stay out here. Step in front of me, I was gonna run into him. That doesn't that doesn't allow you to gain position. Yeah. You can pull over and and not hit him, not run over him, but you can't advance your position. NASCAR deemed that he was up beside the truck when he hit the start finish line. There is the caution. Dean Smith goes for us. Uh, Dean Thompson. <laughs> Dean Smith. My gosh. The college basketball coach at North Carolina. Tar made heels. The broadcast Tar tonight. heels. Yeah. <laughs> Dean Thompson brings out. And Zane Smith will now get the free pass. And, man, they have improved that truck, mm. too. He was cruising along in the top ten. It would be fun to see what Zane can do. Come check out what happens. A little bit late here. Don't know if he got any help, but he was sort of all by himself. Don't know if somebody got into him entering the corner. Uh, maybe there was. Well, that's Haley. There. That's Haley right behind and him. And they were racing each yeah. other. I don't see a, a telltale mark on the back of that truck, so may have just been a situation where Dean lost control. Jeske again takes the outside lane. Corey Heim to his left. We're green once again. Good start for Heim. Can he stick his nose out in front of Majeski? 
He does it. I like that outside on the fresh tires, but on those used ones, I thought that was a bit of a risk. And you could see Heim took advantage of it. A new leader for the first time. Corey Heim takes over the top spot. And now Majeski under attack by his teammate, Ben Rhodes, looking to the outside. The Eckes right there, the 19 blue and white truck, right, right behind that battle in fourth. If you weren't with us at the end of stage one, Corey Heim, by finishing third and getting eight stage points, has clinched the regular season Ooh. championship. And now our third caution of the night, this one for Justin Carroll. That's a big break for Haley Teagan, or did Stuart Friese, they were side by side. Who won that battle, Phil? Could you tell? I, I'm, I'm not sure. Our scoring monitor shows Stuart Friesen ahead of Haley Deegan. Those, those are the new tires. We talked about a quick caution. And could Stuart get there? They're contesting the spot. That's why they're running side by side. Who will get the free pass? This is a huge moment in the race for Stuart Friesen. And there's no cautions in stage one. Already two here in stage two. We, uh, We've had a lot of fun watching on the scoring monitor who's who's the fastest truck, and they've been sprinkled all through the top 20 in the running order. Got word from NASCAR. Haley Deegan is officially the free pass as we go on board with Daniel Dye. Whoa. Long slide into the corner. Didn't look like there was any contact. Look who's looking. Three wide. Are you kidding me? They're trying to get there. Majeski, Rhodes. Carson Hosevar has entered the conversation after starting in the rear. Well, how about Heim going to pull over and block the advance of Majeski? Look at that strong run for Rhodes. Ben Rhodes, you said it, loves that high lane. Trying to power around the outside of Heim. Let's see if it works down here in one and two as good as it did in three and four, and it does. I think he's got that lead. Wow. Third leader of the night is Ben Rhodes. I think there's some grip on the outside. Could the track be a change it with the temperatures cooling off somewhat? Maybe opening up other lanes? Ty Majeski started on pole at 115 laps. Most laps he's ever led in a race. Lost the top spot on that last restart to Corey Heim, who led nine laps and now it's Ben Rhodes who's taken over the top spot. Look how hard high coast Carson Hosmar. Easy for me to say. No. This is interesting. Still feel like if I could pitch it all the way to the bottom I'd run that road on out. Here's Majeski flashing underneath of his teammate. Rhodes won at Charlotte, locking up a playoff position. Majeski got it done on points. He's been the model of consistency, but doesn't have a trophy so far this year. And Majeski's now back out in front at Richmond. Coming into the night, Ty Majeski had two stage wins on the season. He's going to match that here at Richmond. First time in his career, he's pulled off the sweep. Winner of stage one and stage two, Ty Majeski. Battle for third, Rhodes gets second, give third to Heim, Eckes is fourth, Hosovar starts at the back and finishes fifth. Oh my goodness, 98, Ty Majeski, too fast entering. Big mistake. Yeah, that, and that's a mistake, it's gonna be hard to overcome, even as fast as that truck is. 30 points below the cut line is freezing. As we begin this final stage, Carson Hosovar jumping out front on the restart, three wide for second. Whoa, oh, look at contact. That. Ben Rhodes and Eckes getting together. Right along with Matt Crafton. To his inside, the rookie Jake Garcia. He's been impressive tonight. By the way, for Majeski, this is first penalty, a speeding penalty of the year. First time he had been caught speeding since St. Louis last year. It had been over a year since he had a speeding infraction. It cost him big time in this situation as he tries to climb right back in 
to this race. Well, the good news is we have 96 laps to go. There's plenty of time, and more than likely, there will be another pit stop. So it's not out of the question, as fast as that truck has been, for him to get back up there and contend. Honestly, unbelievable that the car ship known as we're getting the lucky dog club. I've never had worse luck in my entire career than this past month. And obviously frustrated there for a short freeze in right now. He's been quiet over the radio and hasn't said anything since the green flag stop as we see a problem here for the 34. Josh Rayum off the pace. Four cautions tonight, two for incident, two for stage in. We'll see if Whoa. he can get out of the way. Boy, that was close for Matt DiBenedetto. And Ty Majeski, who dominates winning stage one, stage two, has led 132 laps after a speeding penalty, has worked his way to the top five. Are you kidding me? He's now past Christian Eckes. As you say that, he, well, <laughs> maybe heats it up a little bit, but that wasn't much of a bump. Just let, just going to let him know I'm there. <laughs> that was by Corey Heim, who, if you weren't with us earlier, into stage one. And we have a new leader, Ty Majeski, back on point. The advantage for Carson Hosovar had gotten down inside of two seconds, so he came to pit road, made a green flag stop. Yes, it was a commitment line penalty there for Ben Rhodes as he came down pit road, so as you see him here making his pass through. Yeah, I mean, green flag pit stops at Richmond are difficult, and that's not the first time we've seen a commitment line violation for a driver that's trying to get on the pit road under green. Jake Garcia now has made his way up to the fifth spot. He is 22 seconds behind Majeski. As you see, Majeski now was one of the slowest trucks probably on the racetrack compared to all these drivers with fresh tires. He's just got to hang on for 27 laps and hope they made the right decision. There's a math equation that these crew chiefs can go by that tell you about fall off and when you can pit and when you can make up that amount of distance. Only lost six tenths on that last lap, did Majeski. This is tense. Got those same two trucks to get by, Purdy and Sawalich. You remember when Hosebar was trying to win his first race and he ran out of fuel on the last lap? Oh, and he's oh sideways. sideways. Look at those black marks. Hosevar, all the way back after the pit stop. Inside a Ty Majeski, Carson Hosevar back out front at Richmond with three laps to go. Just had, didn't have anything to fight back with, guys. He tried. That's why he flew sideways coming off turn four. They were both giving it all they've got. What a call. What a climb for Carson Hosevar. Phil Gould said, we're not going to win doing what we're doing. We're going to do something different. One lap remaining for Carson Hosovar. Started at the back of the field today. Drove all the way to the front. Very, very impressive was that ride. Lost the top spot, decided to play some strategy, and it's worked out perfectly. Hadn't won coming into this year. Going in the playoffs with plenty of momentum. The hat trick for Carson Hosovar. His third win of the season comes at Richmond. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.